Thank you so much for clicking on here and if you're new Lillian here and I hope that you like this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back I appreciate you and of course if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button ensure you on the bell notification so that anytime I upload a video YouTube will notify you I have tried not to do this video not because I don't want to bear this news okay I have been on this for a very long time like way back when i was still doing more of school's content on here but i was having difficulty in getting the videos the ones that i can work with without getting us into trouble and so i have been on this for a very long time i'm glad to finally be here i got a dm from one of you my amazing viewers telling me about whole technical university that was not his interest his interest was what a nigerian army general has done there and I want to believe that you guys will give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, let's go to Ho and take a look at Ho Technical University before we get to the parts that I want to tell you in this video. Let's go. This is a place that celebrates change. A place where you become an engineer, an architect, an entrepreneur, an agriculturist a fashion designer, a graphic designer, a chef, or an accountant. A place to discover your passion and pathway to achieve excellence. Come and experience the world you want to create here. Diversity creates new dimensions. A place where faculties prepare students to be among the top professionals in the working industry across the country and beyond. Begin your journey with that dream job and pursue your passion here at Ghana's top technical university, HTU. This is the place to learn, a place to grow, a place to network, a place to achieve. This is Ho Technical University, Adano Nazuka Kelly. You, we salute you, we hear your name. You have opened unto us the gates of knowledge. To divide our power skills, to perfection, we resolve to become the hub of technological education in Ghana, Africa, and beyond. We pause in the rain or shine, we shall strive to uplift thy name. Searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light all the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de di Oh, Oh, 
beautiful. I don't know a part of Ghana that is not beautiful, especially the school's environment. I do not know which one is not pretty. I know it sounded like a Ghana singer, a Ghana praise singer. Yes, I love to praise good things. Call me Ghana praise singer. I don't mind. I love it. At least I'm praising good things. All right. I'm supporting good behavior. I'd rather do that than worship money. So you see all the schools are beautiful, mind blowing, carefully planned. The schools are built to help the students enjoy their studies. There is nothing like a good environment. The whole technical university is so beautiful and I don't know. I wanted to say as beautiful as you met. University of Mind and Technology, Takwa, is giving me their vibes. For those that have not been to the Volta region before, especially Volta Not, it's one of the most beautiful regions in Ghana. I mean, I personally have not had the opportunity to go there. I would love to one day. It's pretty, like, it's just naturally beautiful. And this school has a lot of international students, especially Nigerians. And that is why this video is i would have done whole technical university eventually or maybe that would have been later but the reason we are here today is because a nigerian man who schooled here and went back to his country and then he became successful in his country nigeria he came back to give back in a major way in a major way charlie i'm going to blame some of my ghanaian media houses for this if my brother have done this thing the other way around i think by now would have the news would have been everywhere but unfortunately this is not out there but i understand this is a school environment and it doesn't always make the news because it's a normal thing for alumni to come back to give back to their alma mater i get it so i was like why isn't this on tv3 why isn't this on prime fm i mean on joy fm and the rest but i remember that this is something that is normal in ghana I mean, alumni coming home to give back to their alma mater. So Major General Yesuf came back to give back in grand style. Let's just take a look at some of the clips from there and then I'll be back. Let's continue to work together to uphold the values and traditions of who Technical Institute, who Polytechnic and who Technical University. Let's strive to become to be beacons of excellence and integrity, leading the way in our respective fields and making a positive impact on our world. Once again, we welcome you to the Maiden ATU Alumni Lecture. May this event be a source of inspiration, enlightenment, and renewed commitment to our shared goals and aspirations. Thank you so much, Vice Chancellor, for welcoming us and for sharing with us the modest gains the university has made. So, yes. Mr. President, please step forward and introduce your own. Thank you. Chairman, may I ask your permission? I, I learned the classmates of the general are here. So I want to just ask your permission to invite one of them. Major General Kamal Ishola Yusif is a distinguished military officer with over three decades of service in the Nigerian army. He has held various leadership positions, including Director of Defense Administration. He is currently the Chief of Defense Accounts and Budget at the headquarters Abuja, Nigeria. Education. He has a robust national educational foundation spanning multiple disciplines and institution. He began his academic journey at the local authority primary school in Oluseke, 
Ide Osun State from 1971 to 1976. He then attended Menusu Evangelical Presbyterian Middle School in the Volta region, Ghana, from 1976 to 1980. Post-secondary education took him to Ho Technical Institute in Ghana, where he earned Royal Society of Arts certificates in business studies with an accounting option from 1980 to 1984. He is also an avid investor in the Nigerian Stock Exchange and other international financial markets. Thank you. Thank you. When you have uh, Fanta, all of us here we know what is Fanta, and you also have Coke, and you now mix it. What do we call that drink? Okay, we call it Fanta Coke. So standing before you is a Fanta Coke. Because my pronunciation will be flowing between Ghana pronunciation and that of Nigeria. So it's because I'm a Fanta Cook. The Vice Chancellor, the Pro Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, I'm happy to report that my close affinity with the Republic of Ghana is not only limited to the excellent education I received in this Saturday of Knowledge but also includes joint training alongside several Ghanaian military officers at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College in Jaji, Nigeria, as well as National Defense College in Abuja on exchange business. Several Nigerian military officers also had their training in Ghana here. Although my intent to deliver this lecture is not an official government-to-government -government invitation, my release and permission to travel down here is at the instance of my immediate boss, General Christopher Gwabi Musa, Officer of the Federal Republic, the Chief of Defense Staff, Armed Forces of Nigeria. General Musa is an excellent officer to work with. He's outstanding in all ramifications. He therefore sends his felicitation on this occasion. Yeah, I wasn't going to allow everything play out in the video. No way. Lily isn't going to sit down here for that long to get that done. So I cut out some parts and then um, that is that so you guys major general yesuf a yoruba man came back to give back to his alma mater by donating a clinic so i'm going to display that on the screen please my beloved viewers from the Volta region or students of whole technical uni the comment section is all yours i would love to learn is this true or a lie if this is true is normal so you can confirm that down there at the comment section who told me is actually a Ghanaian and he likes to tell me things about schools in Ghana that he think I may love because he knows the kind of environment that I like I like nature I love natural environment if you go to the back of my apartment I have planned some things okay just a few things because I want to see something grow from me like I want to see my ideas come to life i have planned a couple of things and if you're following my vlog my other channel you may have seen my garden if i show you that garden now you don't believe so i think he knows my kind of person he knows what i love he told me about the school and he sent me this evidence the video i mean the picture so the picture of the clinic uh, just as displayed on the screen so that is that if you're an international student do not forget your alma mater come back to give back and i think this is why the schools in ghana are doing 
way better. The maintenance culture in Ghana schools are top notch, not because the government bears the burden alone. No, the alumni comes back to give back to their alma mater. Like it's a culture here. When you make money, they know a Ghanaian knows that it's supposed to keep some money aside because they will give back to where they got the knowledge from. And it's not like they went to school for free where you say, okay, oh, they are doing that because they went to school for free. The schools that I heard are free are the senior secondary school, but the higher institutions are, they are paying, even though, yeah, of course, they subsidize. Even in my country, they are subsidy for local students right so but it's not like they went to school entirely for free that is okay oh they hold the school the government said go to school for free then the only thing you should do is come back to give back no they come back willingly to give back because it's the right thing to do but that is that i'm super proud of general yusuf okay i keep talking about the yoruba people and i realize that sometimes when i talk about the yoruba people some people get offended you are talking about the yorubas you love them you can't blame me i grew up partially so uh, i grew up with yoruba family you know some part of my life was spent with some Yoruba families and that is because I was working as a help at, at that time because I needed money to pay my school fees and I, I was lucky. I worked with a couple of families and they had something in common which is they're just easy to deal with if you know how to be respectful. They are very forgiving. Yoruba people are forgiving. Just be respectful, please. Be respectful and try to be honest. Just in all, be respectful. And growing up with them has helped me to kind of understand them a lot more than other tribes. And each time I talk about them, it feels like I'm saying other tribes are not good. Yeah, maybe it feels like that, but Yoruba people are very good. And when it comes to education, they lead. They are going to school very well. And it's a normal thing in a Yoruba land for people to go to school regardless of if you're rich or not it's very hard to say a yoba person not go to school it is very hard and i think that is why we still have a country called nigeria they have their own downside of course they are human but i think we still have a country called nigeria where we still have people going on but the yorubas are trying they are trying in terms of especially in terms of education and this is why some of the big churches in my country, key bodies, key sectors, some of these sectors in my country, the Yorubas are holding it down. When you see a Nigerian professor abroad, investigate very well. Then be Yoruba people. I'm not Yoruba, but these people, they try. They, they can come to your country and integrate. You don't even know. <laughs> so this is all I could bring to you from Ho Technical University. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Toodoo!